Full Circle was planted way back in Madison, Wisconsin. Andy and I were in college learning ethics of land, preservation classes that really embraced agriculture more as an art and a way of life. Neither of us had inherited any farmland or any acreage, so we slowly made our way out west in search of land and were able to connect with some really amazing people out here. People that wanted to put their land into farmland preservation so that it couldn't be developed. And that was a great connection for us because at that time we couldn't afford farmland. I'll never forget the first summer we planted over a thousand tomato plants and we put our black plastic down and by June they were all dead. <laughs> it, was a, it was a learning experience. <laughs> we're not in Kansas anymore. But that was our first year. There was a lot of ups and downs and, and we really learned an immense amount about the Northwest climate and really what thrives here. It was more about the greens, the chards, the spinach, the lettuces. And at the time, Seattle was very ripe. The restaurant scene and the local grocery stores were really, really kind of gnawing for it. And so it was a perfect timing for us. We were able to bring our goods into the city and present our little boxes and people were really excited and we really couldn't have timed it any better. Organic is an ethos. It's a way of taking care of the land and it's a way of growing what we've got beautiful riparian areas around, salmon in our creeks and steelhead spawning, and we've got bald eagles, and they don't want us to use poisons, and so we really didn't think of it any other way. It wasn't not an option. It's always been that pure mentality. We want to make sure that we leave the earth and the land and everything that we do in a state hopefully better than, than the way it used to be.